Okay, so let's solve this problem. So find the equation of hyperbola with vertices at 5, negative 3, and negative 1, negative 3, and the focus at 7, negative 3. So first, we need to graph our hyperbola using the given coordinates. So vertices, so we have 5 and negative 3, and the other one, that's negative 1 and negative 3. Then for the focus, 7 and negative 3. Now, parabola or focus always inside the parabola so therefore our graph that's opens to the left and to the right and the major axis now is in horizontal position so since horizontal position so therefore our formula that's x squared minus y squared for vertical that's y squared minus the x squared then solve now the center of our hyperbola using the coordinates of the vertices because center that's the midpoint of the vertices or the midpoint of the foci so we can use uh, the midpoint formula the x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 or y sub 1 and y sub 2 over 2 or uh, the counting method so using counting method so from the uh, coordinates of the vertices so start counting on the next point so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again, from this point, start counting on the next point. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6, then divide this by 2 to get the center. That's 3. So count uh, 3. 1, 2, and 3. So therefore, this is now the center of our hyperbola. And the coordinates of the center, that's 2 and negative 3. Now since center, that's h and k. So h now is 2 and k, that's negative 3. Okay? Now, in a hyperbola, these are the things to remember. So for a, that's the distance from the center to a vertex or vertex to center since this is our uh, vertex and the center so we need to compute the distance between vertex and center to solve for a so the same process use the counting method so from this point start counting on the next point so we have one two and three so therefore a is three then uh, B, that's minor axis to center. So since we don't have minor axis, then we have now a C, that's focus to center. So this is our focus and the center. So distance from focus to center, that's C. So just count. So from this uh, point, so one, two, three, four, five. So therefore, C is equal to 5. So since we have A and C, so we can solve now B using this formula. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Then to solve for B, transpose A to uh, the left side. So that becomes negative A squared. Then substitute now the values. So C squared, that's uh, 5 squared. Then minus uh, a squared, that's uh, 3 squared. So 5 squared and 3 squared, that's 25 minus 9. And 25 minus 9, that's 16. So 16 is equal to b squared or b squared equals to 16. So there is no need to simplify this equation to solve for b because in our formula, we have b squared. Okay, so after that, just substitute all the values to this formula. So we have this h, that's uh, 2, then k, that's negative 3, then a, that's uh, 3 squared, then we also have the b squared, that's 16. Then you simplify, so double negative, and this 3 squared. So this is now the equation of our hyperbola.